Is it possible to tell if you're pregnant three days before your period? Well, yes, there are so many signs that you could be pregnant before your period and before a positive test. And I'm going to talk about all of these in my video today. Hi, I'm Vicky from Oh My Mama Body. Now, I really love explaining pregnancy symptoms, changes to our bodies as we go through pregnancy and postpartum based on experiences that I went through to really help you on your journey. If you're new to my channel, then a really warm welcome here. Thank you for watching my video and please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Are you wondering if you might be pregnant and it's still a few days before your period is due and you're thinking about what kind of symptoms are going on in your body and if they might be PMS or pregnancy or you're feeling completely different symptoms to normal. Now, let me take you through a few symptoms that could be possible signs of pregnancy three days before your period, even if you've still had a negative test. Now, one of the first signs, which is really obvious, is the position of your cervix. Now, your cervix changes during your menstrual cycle. I have got a couple of other videos which explain more in detail about the position of your cervix and how to tell if you're pregnant or not before a missed period. So go and have a look at them. There'll be links going across the screen so you can see and find out about the position of your cervix. Now, other symptoms could be you find that you're needing to go pee more. You need to go to the toilet more than usual. Now, when we first get pregnant, our blood volume expands and increases really rapidly, which also means we need to take on more water in our body. And then our blood is really active, cleaning everything, which means we need to go to the toilet more. And we notice that really early on in early pregnancy. Other symptoms could be that you've noticed that your breasts are already feeling a lot more tender than usual in a perhaps different way that they would do to PMS, like in a PMS heavy way, um, they're feeling more tender and perhaps feeling slightly more swollen in a different way to usual. Are you feeling warmer than usual? Yeah, a very early sign of pregnancy is that your body temperature is slightly raised and our body temperature stays slightly raised during pregnancy. It's only by a very, very small amount, but that difference can really make you feel warmer than usual. Perhaps you're feeling more tired and sluggish than you normally would do. Well, it's quite hard to tell the difference there between PMS and pregnancy. Now, I do have another video about the differences between PMS and pregnancy. There's a link going across the top right now for that. And go and find out more about those feelings as well, because feeling tired is sometimes linked to the lack of oestrogen when our oestrogen falls before our period. So that's quite a hard one to go by. Normally, you feel that tiredness coming on in the early few weeks of pregnancy after a missed period. Perhaps you're feeling a fluttering feeling in your lower abdomen. Many women notice this feeling, which is a really early sign of pregnancy, like a feeling of butterflies floating around in your lower abdomen or like little bubbles bubbling away. And also maybe combined with feelings of adrenaline rushes as all the changes are happening in early pregnancy. Have you felt that one at all? And another possible sign is feeling implantation. Now implantation is a very clear feeling for some of us, not all of us, not everyone feels it, but it will be a feeling on one side of your womb as your egg travels down and implants. And implantation can last for two to three days. Sometimes it's accompanied with light spotting. So pink, not really bright red bleeding, but a light pink, maybe a brown, rusty brown color would be a sign of implantation, along with that feeling on one side, a bit maybe like a pin prick or a dull feeling on one side. So let me know what kind of feelings you're experiencing. Put them down in the comments below. Have a chat with me and I will get back to you and 
help you figure out the kind of symptoms that you're having. Now, I went through seven pregnancies myself, which is why I really got in tune with what's going on in my body. And I'm very intuitive as well. So I always knew as soon as my baby was there and starting to grow inside of me, which is why I really love helping you as well. And if you haven't yet, go and join my Facebook group. It's called Mama Meets and Midwife, where we've got loads of tips and webinars saved in there to really help you on your pregnancy journey. Thanks so much for watching today. Take care. Bye for now.